First of all, let me start by saying that Pink is a great read. I highly recommend it. Just not only the fact that it's just fun, but it's just that the characters are just so likable. And they're so complex, which, and the reason why they're so complex is because, I mean, we really don't know anything about their past, like how they grew up. After reading this twice, I still don't know or can't even describe the relationship that Yumi had with her, with her mother. For her, uh, all I know is that her mother hung herself. But this, again, is very weird. And I think a lot of it has to do with Kyoko Okazaki, the author, or mangaka, if, if you, um, whatever you want to call it. I don't fucking care. But she is very well known for having some very controversial themes and having, and controversial themes mean stuff like prostitution. Which Yumi is a call girl. She's a prostitute. And you get the point. The thing is, is that that just adds to the weirdness of it. Okay? For one thing, the people who she meets as a prostitute are fucking weird, okay? There's a dude that gives her magic seeds. And then proceeds to steal all of her stuff while she's in the shower. There's a guy who's an animal rights activist who, you know, treated Yumi as like she, as that he was her, uh, that she was her pet. I mean, his pet. She was his pet, and you know, something like that. And it's just fucking weird. Not only that, she owns a fucking crocodile. Yumi is just a fucking insane person. And everybody in this is insane to some degree. Which, you know, is, is the closest to reality that any form of media can get. So the next character you have is Haru, who is the uh, least bad shit insane of the whole entire cast. But he's still insane. I mean, he's an aspiring novelist and is sleeping with Yumi's stepmother for his, uh, to work on his observation of human beings. Because I'm not gonna lie, you can't be an author, a novelist, or fucking someone if you can't understand humans, at least to, like, a certain degree. So, I, you know, I kind of, I kind of, you know, like that. But I think what's even better is the character relationships, especially with Yumi and Haru, because this is the whole rela loving relationship that they have. And it starts with... I'm gonna... It's probably gonna take some time, so if you could just wait, okay? So as you can see right here, when they first kiss, or when it's about to kiss, that is 100% when I felt chills down my spine of like, fuck, like, shit's real. I'm not gonna lie, I like had to put the book, I had to put this down, I was just like, put this here. I don't, I don't know why it came, like, why I like that moment so much in this, out of all the moments, the second moment I like is the menstrual sex, where they can compare it to a hot dog covered in ketchup. Um, but it doesn't even matter. Okay, just that one moment just made me fall in love with this series. Well, not series. Fuck! This, this one fucking pink. It made me fall in love with pink. Not the color, but the pink. You get the fucking point. But I don't know what to say. It's like there are many things I can't describe and especially I still don't have a grasp on who the characters are. Still third 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 
of my favorite part is when Yumi is flicking the bean and saying, Mother, please scold me, which also makes you think more about the relationship that she must have had with her mother. What was it? What led her mother to commit suicide? Like, there are so many questions that are left unanswered. And I'm not going to lie. The ending of this... Whole, uh, the ending of this... It's kind of disappointing in my opinion. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, it, it just... It didn't conclude the story and of Yumi and Haru. So, I mean... Overall, I think 8 out of 10, if it ended beautifully, I would have given a 9 or probably a 10 out of 10, but it's it just has an 8 out of 10. Still highly recommend this though. I'd recommend this. This is definitely one of my favorites. 8 out of 10. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you could please uh, uh, like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Uh, I know you're probably not going to, and you probably will, but to me, that doesn't really matter. All that matters is just f hit the fucking subscribe button. <sighs>